1030. Pritchard Mayor Joy Ephraim says he wants to set the record straight concerning next week's vote to decide whether to dissolve the Pritchard Water Board and hand over the reins to Moss. Senator Vivian Figures and U.S. Representative Napoleon Bracey helped create the referendum. Local 15's Madupe Idowu spoke to Ephraim. He believes the bill was written to sabotage the city. Well, that's right, Kim. You know, not only the city, but he says his administration, Ephraim, says the new bill wasn't created to help citizens complaining of high water bills, but instead a conspiracy to hurt the city. They're only concerned about making sure this government fails. That's not going to happen. Mayor Troy Ephraim is speaking out as the legal battle over the Pritchard Water Company continues. It's the worst piece of legislation I could ever imagine coming out. Just days before residents head to the polls to vote in a referendum to dissolve the utility and transfer to Moz, the Pritchard Water Board committed to signing a $35 million contract with Severn Trent, a company that services water. It's a move Representative Napoleon Bracey calls sneaky and spiteful because Moss would have to take over the expensive contract if residents vote yes. Moss doesn't need servant trend. They can provide those services themselves. But by locking them into a contract like that, it would make it very difficult for them to be able to lower the rates. They're just doing this uh, just to fight against the citizens. Mayor Ephraim says he applauds the board for its decision. I think that's positive reinforcement. I think they're focusing on the fact that they know that this bill is unconstitutional that it's an attack on their ability to survive and be a clear asset and a help for the city of Pritchard. We're focusing on our future. Yet the future of the water board lies in the hands of the voters. People no longer have trust in our uh, local government, and that's just not good. It just was a dirty move. I, I think they need to realize that the citizens own the water board, and they don't own the water board. Now, in less than an hour, Representative Bracey is hosting a town hall meeting at Mount Sinai Baptist Church in Pritchard to discuss the bill he sponsored. But if you missed tonight, don't have enough time, there's another one tomorrow at Viger High School at 6 p.m. Kim? Madupe, thank you. Well, it's not too early.